Hello everybody and welcome back to Transgressive Music. Let me shift the camera a little bit. Yeah, it's much better. So, um, a little story. I, uh, when I was a kid, maybe 14 years old, 13 years old, uh, I got this tape here. It's called The Best of Fleetwood Mac. And um, it was a best of uh, record, a compilation with tracks that I knew only very little about because all this music on this cassette was entirely different from uh, the type of music that Fleetwood Mac was producing at the time in the 80s and uh, kind of filling the hit parades with their music and it was kind of odd to realize that this is the same band because this sounded so different. Um, now um, there is a track here uh, called The Purple Dancer which I remember when I was a kid and as I said like 14 years old I think I really liked the song I thought this is a really cool song kind of very psychedelic almost, almost like a prototype of a psychedelic song at least that's how I remembered it and um, actually since then I never heard this song again and uh, honestly while you find this song on a best of album um, it's more like a obscure deep cut uh, so this is this is an odd odd uh, compilation anyway but that's what makes it kind of interesting but by chance a while ago shortly before all the record stores got closed because of covid um, I was in a record store in Nuremberg and uh, suddenly I saw this record there and ob obviously I immediately remembered uh, my MC, my cassette at home that I have not listened to <laughs> since the 80s basically. Um, so I, I could not resist and I bought this album here, this compilation. Um, so this is uh, Best of Fleetwood Mac from those uh, glorious uh, early days with Danny Kirvan and uh, Jeremy Spencer and Peter Green on guitar of course and I thought let's have a listen to the Purple Dancer um, once again uh, after how many years well um, kind of 35 or something that's when I heard this song for the last time like 35 years ago so um, interesting experiment and um, all I have to do now is to find the record. Um, I haven't played this uh, this uh, particular record since I bought it, so I don't know if in, w in which condition um, the disc is, and uh, so maybe it will be very much crackling or something like that. It's all possible. Um, but uh, let's just give it a try and. Um, have a look at this kind of a less known song from Fleetwood Mac that uh, I remember as being something very, very magical actually. Uh, I think the track is here. Let me just check out where we are. This sounds good. So uh, let's go. The Purple Dancer by Fleetwood Mac. Of time, she can surely know the answer standing in the steps of
wonderful. It's still as great as I remember it from my teenage years. Um, now the interesting question here is why is this song not much more known and popular and talked about and played and fascinating, isn't it? There's, I mean, people make so much fuss on YouTube about rumors and uh, Rihanna and the chain and but I think this is so much better um, song and um, certainly uh, much cooler music um, but uh, anyway so um, Peter Green by the way great sound in his guitar isn't it uh, so I uh, really enjoyed this one and um, yeah it's kind of like like time has not passed because uh, the whole song was still really quite fresh in my memory despite the fact that it's easily 35 years since I have listened uh, to it for the last time but um, as it usually is with a young mind um, the music you listen to when you are a kid or a teenager it gets probably pretty deeply engraved into your brain because uh, you have a tendency to memorize things better it's not like today i have to listen to an album like that probably 30 times so i even remember what it is about so um anyway this was uh, fleetwood mac uh the purple dancer written by danny Kirvan and mick fleetwood and john McWee. and uh, i can only guess from which year this song is, uh, but uh, I think it's a quite a safe bet that it's from the very early 70s. And um, so um, I hope you enjoyed that. Great song. Uh, unfortunately, not particularly well known. Uh, um, recording engineer Martin Birch, by the way. Um, yeah, so um, have a nice day and uh, see you next time. Oh.